Welcome back, family. We are back at CVS for another overnight haul. If you guys are new here, let me know down in the comment section below. I love to welcome the newbies to the best family, our family on social media. Thank you so much to those of you guys that have most recently sent me coupons to my PO box. That information is up right here. You guys are amazing as usual. Get those couponing insert orders in family with our CDS family member, Nurse Paula. Her information is up right here on the screen. She's also linked on the Google Doc for you guys if you guys need this coming week's inserts, prior weeks, or clipped coupons. Go ahead and hit her up. She is fantastic. And we're going to be talking about some deals in this video with our Instagram fairy. Her information is up here. She's also going to be linked on our Google Doc for you guys as well. The last thing I want to remind you guys before we get started is we do have an epic beauty event going on. So remember, spend $30 in beauty related items and you're going to get back 10% in beauty rewards. So when we had beauty club going on, remember in the past it was spend 30 get back $3 in beauty bucks. So we have that going on right now for the next couple of weeks, I believe, but it's a max of $20 in beauty bucks per CVS account. So you want to try and if you can finagle your accounts to maximize that money coming back to you. Try not to do all the beauty deals the next couple of weeks on one account, because like I said, you're only getting back a max of $20. If you guys want a complete list of beauty related items, you guys can find that on the CVS website. And without further ado, we're getting into our CVS haul. some great hair care deals going on this week with whole blends fructis and more so right now we're going to be picking up the garnier fructis as well as the garnier whole blends these are two for eight dollars this week buying two getting back a two dollar extra buck that's for the fructis the whole blends is the exact same promotion however these two deals are actually two separate promotional numbers which means you can do both of them on each cvs account that you have and get back the two dollar extra bucks for both promotions for the fruit teas we're going to go ahead and use a three dollar off two printable coupon from coupons.com this coupon did expire 311 or you could use the three dollar off two coupon from the three five save that one also expired 311 these are going to glitch with a three dollar off two digital coupon that's going to drop you down to paying two bucks getting back your two dollar extra buck these are going to be completely free same for the whole blends three dollar off two printable coupon or from the three five save also expired 311 glitching with a three dollar off two digital coupon we're gonna pay $2, get back two, final cost will be free. We're gonna be repeating these deals on two separate CVS accounts. One thing you guys should definitely check out is the Aveeno Baby this week. I'm not going to be able to grab it right now, but maybe at a midweek haul, I could grab it and show you guys how, how it's working. I believe it's part of the spend 20, get a $5 extra buck, which includes as well, I believe the Huggies and all that stuff. The reason I'm mentioning this is because we've got a $2 printable coupon you guys can grab from our Instagram ferry. And we've got um, Ibotta offers. So we've got a $1.50 Ibotta offer limit of three for the Aveeno kids and the Aveeno baby so this would be a great time to stock up on these items i just haven't printed the coupons yet so i can't grab them right now who's ready for some money maker degree deodorant no crts needed i feel like i hit the jackpot over here with this new fancy little degree deodorant all right y'all so look buy one get one half off spend 15 get back a five dollar extra buck i've confirmed extra bucks are linked to this degree unlimited and then also the sprays right here. So watch me work my magic. We're gonna pick up two of the sticks in this transaction. Then we're gonna do another transaction on a different CVS account, and we're gonna pick up two of these sprays. We're doing this for a reason. We're separating the sticks from the sprays, and I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. So pick up two, I got ink pen all over my hand. That is so tacky, you guys. Okay, so two of the sticks, $10.79 each in my store. Buy one, get one half. We're at $16.18. Now check it out. We're gonna be using these two $3 coupons from the $2.19 save they did expire three four that's going to bring six bucks off of our sixteen dollar and eighteen cent total we're going to pay cvs ten eighteen but we're getting back the five dollar extra bucks so our cvs cost is five eighteen now we're going to turn around and flip our receipt and submit it to ibotta and get back three dollars for each item giving us back six dollars we have a one dollar profit ladies and gentlemen and we're getting back extra fetch points now this is why you want to separate your sticks from your sprays because we've got an offer for the degree unlimited stick and an ibotta offer for the degree unlimited spray if you do one stick and one spray in one transaction you've used up both of your offers on ibotta 
They might reset, they might not. So if you wanna do this deal, do two sticks in one transaction, then turn around and do this deal on another CVS account, grabbing two sprays like I'm gonna do right now. The sprays cost a little bit more, so they're $11.79 each in my store at buy one, get one half, brings us to $17.68. Again, we're gonna be using two of these $3 manufacturer coupons from the $2.19 save. We're gonna pay CVS $11.68, getting back $5 in extra bucks. CVS cost is $6.78, we're submitting though for three dollars back on each spray on ibotta giving us six bucks back final cost is like 78 cents total for the both plus extra fetch points another fantastic deal i'm feeling a little sassy this morning so i'm going to actually go ahead and grab these sticks again on a third cbs account and hope that that three dollar offer on ibotta resets if it doesn't no big deal. So we have our hair care right here for the whole blends and the fruit teas. And then we have our degree sticks on this receipt as well. We've got glitch confirmations for the whole blends, glitch confirmation for the fruit teas. We paid $14 out of pocket in the form of extra bucks, but we got back nine in extra bucks for the promotions, five, two, and two, plus $6, you guys, on Ibotta for the degree. That made this receipt a $1 profit and extra fetch points for our degree as well. So I found us a new glitch. So everybody this morning got a buy one, get one free Airwick Freshmatic refill digital coupon. That's for these items right here. Also in the 226 Smart Source, we've got this buy one, get one free coupon. Now this coupon does expire 311, but it's just now 312. Most stores do accept expired coupons up to 14 days. Some accept them up to 21 days like mine. Um, if you guys have not tried to use an expired coupon at CVS, just try and use it. Don't ask if you can use it because nobody's going to be able to tell you the answer. Just try and use it. If it scans as normal, you're good to go. If it beeps, um, then your store does not accept them. So here's what we can do. We can pick up two of these. They're buy one, get one half off this week. My price is $9.29 for the first one. Then the half off for the second one would be $4.64. There's a very specific way you have to check out with this glitch in order for the glitch to work. You need to take your full price item and divide it by two for your half off item because your prices might not be $9.29 regular price. So take $9.29 or whatever your full price is priced, divide that by two. Like I said, minus $4.64 for this half off item. When I give this paper coupon to my cashier, I want her to key in $4.64 on the price of this coupon. That way this coupon will attach to this item and that would leave this item open to attach to the buy one get one free glitch coupon if you try and have your cashier key in 9.29 on this paper coupon that coupon is then going to carry over and attach to both items then your digital glitch coupon will not have an item to attach to because this coupon would have carried over and attached to both of these products so we're going to take 464 off for our paper coupon that'll take care of the price of this then the buy one get one free digital coupon is buy one get one free up to seven dollars off that'll take off seven bucks for this one we're going to pay like two dollars and 29 cents total for the bowl that's a pretty great deal and we're going to be getting back extra fetch points for buying airwick Unfortunately, the Airwick glitch is a no-go. So when he scanned my paper coupon, the register automatically took $7 off for the coupon. He didn't have an option to key in an amount. Automatically taking $7 off for this paper coupon means that digital coupon is not going to come off because $7 is more than that half off price and it's carrying over and attaching to both items leaving nothing for that glitch coupon so is this cvs trying to fix their glitches in their system and the only way they know how is to take off the full price on the buy one get one free coupons i don't know you guys let me know in the comments if you guys want to try it out at your store and see if your cashier is able to key in a price or if that machine is automatically taken off seven bucks CoverGirl Cosmetics this week are buy two, get back a $6 extra buck, and we're going to turn this into a really easy money maker. So let's pick up two of the, I think they're called the Perfect Point Brow items. Yeah, Perfect Blend by Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencils. These are $4.99 each in my store. We're at $9.98 for these two. We're going to use these two $3 manufacturer coupons from the 3-5 save insert. These are going to deduct a total of $6. We're going to pay CVS 4 bucks, get back 6 So these two items are going to end up being a $2 profit. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this deal on two separate CVS accounts. So right now, automatically, we're up by 4 bucks because this is a $2 moneymaker on this account, and this is a $2 profit on this account. So we're at a profit of $4 between those four items. 
I've got two $3 shoe insole CRTs and I'm gonna stack them and use them together and pick up one of these gel inserts. They're $6.49 minus two of those $3 CRTs. I'm gonna pay just 49 cents. This receipt, we have our degrees. We've got the CoverGirl moneymaker and our little freebie, well, mostly freebie, heel liner over here with our two $3 CRTs for that. So here's the receipt. Everything came off fine. We paid $16.15 out of pocket, mostly in extra bucks. And we got back $11 in extra bucks. Five for the degree, six for the CoverGirl. Then also $6 came back on Ibotta for the degree, three for each of the sprays, plus you guys extra fetch points for this receipt for the degree as well. So this receipt ended up being a 75 cent profit. I'm going to do another hair care deal on a third CVS account using a $7 off $30 hair care CRT. So again, we're gonna pick up two of the whole blends and two of the fruit teas. We're also gonna be picking up two of the OGX products at $8.99. These are buy one, get one 40% off. Buy two, get back a $4 extra buck this week and we're gonna have a glitch with these as well. We're also grabbing the L'Oreal L-Vive. These are $5.49 each in my store and buying two, getting back a $4 extra buck this week, also with a glitch. So these are the items for our hair care scenario with the OGX being buy one, get one 40% off and then $5.49 for each one of these and two for eight for both of these sets. We're at $41.36. We're going to use a $3 off two manufacturer coupon from coupons.com for the Elvive. It's going to glitch with a $3 off two digital coupon. Then for our OGX, we're going to be using a $2 off two printable coupon also from coupons.com this is going to be glitching with a two dollar off two digital coupon then again for our garnier items we're going to use three dollar off two either printable or from the three five save glitching with the respective digital coupons for these as well after coupons and our seven dollar off thirty dollar crt we're going to pay cvs twelve thirty six but we're getting back the four dollar extra buck for elvi four dollar extra buck for the ogx two dollar extra buck and a two dollar extra buck giving us back a total of 12 bucks. Final cost for everything up here, you guys, 36 cents. And don't forget, we do have an epic beauty event going on. So all of these items are gonna track towards beauty and kick me back $3 worth of beauty bucks because we've reached over 30 bucks in beauty items. Our $7 off $30 hair care scenario CRT went really, really well. Here is the receipt, you guys. Look at all those glitch confirmations. Whole blends, fruit teas, L5, and OGX all in a line. Okay, we paid it $12.36. We got back, though, $12 worth of extra bucks between the promotions. So final cost for all the hair care, $0.36 cents and extra fetch points for OGX as well. I've got a $3 CVS Women's Health brand CRT, and I'm gonna make this really simple. I'm just gonna pick up one of these for $3.89. It is on clearance. Yes, you can stack manufacturer coupons and CRTs, extra bucks towards your out-of-pocket, whatever you need to on clearance items. The only thing about clearance items at CVS is they do not track towards extra buck promotions. So I'm gonna stack that $3 CRT on here, and I'm gonna pay just 89 cents for this. I don't think that's a bad price at all. If I wanted to, I could come over here and grab this this one my CRT would adjust down it would be free but I don't need that item or like the flushable wipes my CRT would adjust down those would be free as well by the way let me know in the comments where is our summer's eve coupons do we have any that aren't too far expired because these summer's eve items are 50 percent off and if we've got coupons that would be a pretty great deal Clairol hair color is buy two, get back a $5 extra buck, and we're going to get these completely free. So I'm going to pick up two of the nice and easy at $9.29 each. That'll bring us to $18.58. We're going to use this $6 off two newspaper coupon from the 3-5 at Smart Source. This is going to glitch with a $6 off two digital coupon. So we're going to pay $6.58, get back our $5 extra buck. CVS cost is $1.58. However, we're also going to be submitting for 450 shop kicks. So 250 shop kicks equals $1. So if we submit for 450, that's going to give us back $1.80. And that's going to make these completely free and a small profit. I'm also going to be picking up a two of the Snuggle products. I'm going to grab these Scent Shakes. They're $3.99 this week. They're not giving back any extra bucks. However, I needed a little bit more money towards a $10 off $70 next purchase. And I'm going to show you guys everything I'm pairing in with that here in a second. So I'm going to pick these two up for $3.99 each. We're going to be using two of these $2 manufacturer coupons from the $2.19 save. They did expire $3.5. So $3.99 minus two, these are going to end up being $1.99 each. 
This is our $10 off $70 next purchase CRT scenario. You guys know me with those high threshold CRT scenarios, the ones off any purchase. What we do is we go through our list and we throw in all the items together, all the deals together that do not have other spin threshold CRTs with them. So none of these items had um, any spin threshold CRTs. So I paired all this together. My total was a little bit over 70 bucks and my CRT came off fantastically. So here's the receipt. Let's start at the top. It's a big receipt, but it worked out really, really well. I have no complaints with this one at all. So we've got glitch confirmation for Clairol, whole blends, fruit teas, and then you see the 10 off 70. So we paid $19.90 out of pocket, but you guys, we got back $20 worth of extra bucks for the deals. Plus we got back $1.80 on Shopkick for the Clairol. Hoping that our degree offer resets on Ibotta. I've got my little couponing spirit fingers crossed that this offer is going to reset. If and when it does, I'm going to be on the lookout. We're going to be submitting back again for $3 on each one of these back on Ibotta. If we get that Ibotta offer back up and going, this receipt's going to be a $7.80 profit. If that Ibotta offer does not reset, you guys, it's still a $1.80 moneymaker. Let's start working on our spend 30, get back a $10 extra care buck deal. The Aveeno is included in this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of the Aveeno body wash at $12.49. I've got a $2 off $12 Aveeno body wash CRT and a $2 digital coupon we're going to use on this item. Pairing in with our Aveeno body wash and our spend 30 deal, we're going to pick up one of our bounce dryer sheets right here. These are $6.99 also included in the promotion and we're going to be clipping a $1 digital coupon. The last two items in our spend 30 deal is gonna be the Gain, or if you wanna grab Tide, you can. I'm gonna pick up two of the Gain Liquid at $5.49 each. I've got a $1 digital coupon for one. Then I'm gonna be using this $1 printable coupon from our Instagram Fairy for the other one. If you guys cannot print coupons, don't even worry about it, okay? What you can do instead is grab one of the Gain Liquid, use your $1 digital coupon. Then for your other item that needs to be $5.49, you guys could pick up one of the bounce items for $5.49 or you guys could pick up one of the um, Tide Pods up here for $5.49. Those have digital coupons. That way you wouldn't have to use a printable coupon. This is our spend 30 deal, you guys. Can you believe these items cost $30? Now that's the sale price here at CVS. These cost $30.46. It looks so skeet and small. <laughs> okay, so we've got the two off 12 CRT for the Avino Body Wash body wash. We've got the $2 digital for the Avino body wash, or you could use a $2 printable for the Avino body wash from coupons.com or our Instagram fairy. Then for the bounce, we've got a $1 digital coupon or $1 printable from the Instagram fairy. Then for our gain, we're using a $1 digital and $1 printable. So we've got $7 worth of coupons coming off our $30.46 total. We're going to pay $23.46, but we're getting back our $10 extra buck. Final cost is going to be $13.46. A total of three dollars and 36 cents per item honestly you guys that's not the best price let me just keep it real that is not the best price however i can turn around and sell these items and make a profit off this deal so i'm going to go ahead and do it our spin 30 deal went really well no complaints on this receipt we paid 24.46 out of pocket we got back 10 Final cost is $14.46. is honestly not the best price for these items. However, I can turn around and flip these and resell them and still make a profit. So I went ahead and went for it. For a slow week, you guys, we are looking good. If I added everything up correctly, we have about $105 worth of beauty related item. That's $9 in beauty bucks coming back to us at the end of this beauty event. The next thing is if that I bought offer resets and we get six more dollars back for our degree stick, we were going to have a $4 and 50 cent haul minus the nine dollars we're looking like a small money maker hey i'll take it for a slow week i don't mind you guys this is looking good for a slow week let me know in the comments what you guys plan to grab at cbs this week let me know if i missed anything i will be checking coupons.com to see if i can submit for any of these offers over there but of course as always you're not supposed to if you used coupons on the item so do what works best for you what you're most comfortable with and i'll talk to you later bye